What's going on YouTube, GSN right here. In today's video we're discussing about the state of jailbreaking on iOS 17, all the way up to iOS 17.4, 17.3.1, especially on the newer devices like A12+, Plus, iPhone 14, 13, 12, stuff like that. We're gonna briefly discuss about older devices too, but those are not the focus of this video. This video is brought to you by Tenorshare Reboot, a software that allows you to repair the iOS system if it's stuck in recovery mode or a boot loop and it's not powering on anymore and stuff like that. Definitely check the program out in the link below. It does support iOS 17 and a free trial is available for both Windows and Mac OS. So let's get the older devices out of the way. If you have an older iOS device supporting iPadOS 17, so an iPad that does support iPadOS 17 but it's also Checkmate compatible, you have Pelrain, you can jailbreak with Pelrain basically all the way up to iOS 17.4, you should be able to jailbreak iOS 17.3.1, you should be good to go. We're not going to talk about those devices though, we're going to talk about newer devices, for example iPhone 14 and and iPhone 15 and 12 and stuff like that for which we have iOS 17.3.1 currently and all these versions over here. Now the situation for iOS 17 jailbreak is pretty bad on newer devices. We recently had a new update for dopamine jailbreak, the dopamine 2, which added support for iOS 16 all the way up to iOS 16.5 and 16.5.1 but that's still far down we cannot have support for iOS 17 right now because it's much too new and of course we don't have the proper exploits. Here's what we have so far. We do have a kernel proof of concept released and this one does support iOS 17.0 up to 17.2.1 bringing the support all the way up to around here. So these do have a proof of concept for a kernel vulnerability available for the newer devices. Now this is the code for it. Unfortunately this is not a kernel exploit. This is a kernel vulnerability which could in theory be exploited but this coding here is just a proof of concept to trigger the vulnerability. The vulnerability itself is good. Possibly a security researcher could exploit it and use it in a jailbreak. However, it's not all that we need. Now we also have this one over here which is a little bit older but still for iOS 17. This one is also a proof of concept and it's for a WebKit vulnerability. It does work on iOS 17, it says in here iOS 17.0 and 17.1 beta 1, so these are supported, and iPadOS 17.0 as well. And this one is for WebKit, you know, the Safari component on your device. So this could in theory be chained together with another exploit or a couple of exploits, a full chain, in order to create possibly a jailbreak triggerable from Safari. That's wishful thinking definitely, but it is a possibility and the vulnerability is here. That's what we have so far. Now if you have iOS 17.0 all the way up to iOS 17.2.1, I would certainly encourage you not to update. iOS 17.3.1 and 17.3 are the worst versions you can be on for the moment. iOS 17.4 beta as well. Those are the newest and of course the newest don't have even proof of concepts published. If for older versions we have this one in here which is not much, for those newer versions we have nothing. So stay as low as you can, that's probably the best thing you can do in terms of jailbreaking. But for iOS 17 for now the situation doesn't look very good. Still. Troll Store is indeed supporting iOS 17 and as long as we can find a method to install it, for example a kernel exploit, a proper exploit, not a proof of concept, we would be able to install Troll Store 2 on iOS 17 on newer devices. This in here could possibly be exploited in the future to allow such an installation method to occur, but that's not a guarantee. So for the moment if you want to jailbreak iOS 17, although up to iOS 17.3.1, you can't. And your best chance at the moment is to stay as low as possible on iOS 17. If you're running iOS 16, needless to say, do not update. You will be out of a jailbreak for a long time. iOS 17 does add a lot of new security features, especially on newer devices, features that are harder to bypass and require a lot of work. Work that we don't really have that many developers to do anymore, so you will be waiting for a longer time. Now since there isn't any jailbreak available, especially for the newer devices, you will be flooded with a lot of fake jailbreaks on Google or on any other search engine. And besides Pelrain, which does work but for older devices, going to see a lot of stuff like Xylem Package Manager and stuff like that, there will be a lot of fake stuff. Do not believe any of those jailbreaks because they're usually fake and if you don't see a jailbreak being mentioned in here on this page as being a real jailbreak on this most complete guide on my website, then it's very likely not legitimate. So for now you should know that iOS 17 is not a great 
place to be if you want a jailbreak. There are chances, there are proof of concepts being released and of course kernel vulnerabilities and stuff, but it will be a long time before those vulnerabilities turn into proper exploits and then into proper jailbreaks. So be patient, stay on the proper version, do not update because the more you update the less chances you have and I will keep you updated here on the channel as things go on. Thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.